We're getting ready to weld the uh, ends of this billet together. Just gonna put weld on the ends to hold it. And then uh, we're gonna cover the sides of the billet with some sheet metal. And I'll probably use a little bit of the MIG welder and the TIG welder to do all that. The sheet metal is to keep the billet completely uh, out of atmosphere. So it'll be an enclosed, at uh, enclosed atmosphere. So none of the layers are exposed to any oxygen. In the end, I'm going to have all the seams covered completely. So on the ends, I'm just going to cover those with weld. And then, like I said, we're going to put sheet metal on the sides to keep the uh, layers from getting any oxygen in there. I'm not going to use any flux. And uh, I don't have to cover it. Like, I could totally forge weld it without covering it. But this, this is just uh, even more secure of a super clean weld than we're doing it like this. I think the next thing I want to do is uh, hit these with the big angle grinder a little bit and uh, level out some of these layers because some of these pieces are a little wider than the others. So I want to at least get them close, close to the same width. Uh, that's hot. I'm uh, getting the sheet metal welded to the sides right now to protect the billet from oxygen. Uh, so I got the sheet metal cut out and I'm just uh, welding the tops and bottoms. I think I'll come over it again with the TIG welder and clean it up a little bit. This MIG weld was sticking up a little higher than I wanted so I ground it down a little bit and I'm just running over it real quick with the TIG welder to make sure it's all fused together and then uh, touching up the ends a little bit. After that I can put some handles on here and then we can actually start doing some forging. I wanted to uh, weigh these. I kind of have these big heavy handles on here now. Oh well. But, yeah, I hope this will be enough. It doesn't look like a lot when I think about 45 inch sword. Well, I guess it's quite a bit. It's gonna be really cold out. And it normally wouldn't be bad, except I currently have a cold. So I don't like being cold while having a cold. And I know I'll have the forge going, but it, I'll still be cold in the cold, with a cold. <laughs> Hello, you need brown recluses? Parlez-vous anglais? Nope. What am I doing? I gotta put some earplugs on. <laughs> I can't think. My brain is scrambled from the cold. No. Alrighty. You change this torch tip. Get this all out. Uh, I was gonna get out some borax, except I don't need borax because we did all that extra work, so I don't. Don't need borax at all. All right, that's ready. That's ready. I get this hooked up before we open the door. Uh, propane. Uh, righty tighty, lefty loosey, except for when you're working with propane. So, tighten. No, <laughs> I still did it the wrong way. Tighten. <laughs> Oh. Make sure this is off this time. <laughs> so, <laughs> okay, I didn't mean literally off, I meant the propane was off. Yeah. A little crud on there, now I gotta clean off the Turner offer. Put that by off. Find a little broom. 
Do a little sweep sweep. Guys, I have this weird, super weird obsession with cleaning this spot on the press like all the time. I don't know why, but I gotta have this spot clean. <laughs> I don't care about the rest of it, but I'm always wiping slag and scale off this little spot here. And you just saw me, I even swept it without even thinking about it. <laughs> I don't care about the rest. Although I was getting into a habit of cleaning off, uh, I think it was <laughs> this side over here too, but I quit that. I broke that habit. <laughs> but I don't care about this habit. I'm gonna keep it. All right, well, let's open the door, get the forge lit and stick those in there. Hopefully they'll fit in there, because we did measure, but you know how that goes. It is uh, below freezing out today. I think it's like 30 degrees or so. I think we're gonna have like one hour, possibly around like four o'clock where it's gonna be like 34 degrees, but I actually don't think that's gonna happen because there's ice on the trees and everything still. Crank her up to about 35 pounds. Looks like I got about uh, 30, 30% left. actually getting a little low so definitely gonna have to order some more propane once we get this sword project uh, forged out. Let's make sure the billets fit in there before I start the forge. <laughs> oh yeah, could have could have added one extra eighth inch layer probably. Yep, we're good. Uh, I, I turned it off so much so that it fell out and hit the ground and I had to clean it off. <laughs> this one? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. I don't know. I think it was off far enough, but I wanted to be sure and I took it out too far. Alright. So don't don't get too close to the uh, the door of the forge just in case it does uh, poof a little bit. I think we'll go ahead and do uh, this billet first. This billet right here it says center on it gonna go in the center of the mosaic pattern when we're done so uh, yeah since they have casing on the outside of them I needed to I need to really keep track of which ones which while I'm forging uh, because they need, they need to be forged out dramatically different
The forge is going to melt down if I use it anymore. The whole back side, all the lining fell off. And the lid's falling apart. You can probably do a billet. Probably get your billets done. We'll fix it tomorrow. It might mean we have to reline it then, instead of just patching it up, which will take like a whole day instead of like an hour. It's bad. Like the whole backside fell off down into the bottom. I see it. Everything built up around the door is gone. That's just some cable there, and it's like falling apart. This this doorway here, I think, is falling apart, and the lid had stuff falling down on my billet. You want it to cool down? Want to be able to do it today? Won't be able to do it today. I'll turn that on. I'll be standing here. What are you doing? Get back. What are you doing? I'm gonna cool it down. My face stuck in the no, hole. No, I was watching it. Oh, the lid is the lid's completely falling apart big time. Now, the lid looks like the whole thing is getting ready to possibly just fall in. We just need to put a, a piece of square cable on there with a piece of steel on it instead of all that stuff. Would that work? No, uh, cable uncoated on the top would burn out in like an hour. Oh. Uh, 